So the question for today is, can one partner turn around a dysfunctional relationship? And the answer will surprise some of you because it is yes. Now, like anything else, there's no guarantees. But the reality is, as men, you must lead and go first. And when you do this, there will be a period where she's not gonna do anything. She is going to watch, she's going to observe, she's going to believe you're doing it to save the marriage because she said she wants space, a divorce, what have you. But the reality is, you have established a pattern of X number of years of showing up a certain way. Now you've become aware that your nice guy pleasing behaviors are unattractive, manipulative, and the root of many problems within the relationship. Okay, so now you have started working on yourself for yourself. You're making these changes, very positive changes. And we typically hear at the two or three month point guys going, nothing's changed. I don't understand. I've been consistent for the last two months. I'm doing everything right. And nothing has changed. Well, if you've been married for 12 years, do you think two months of consistency is going to cause her to suddenly forget about 12 years of previous patterns, habits, and behaviors. No. This is why we tell men it takes 18 to 24 months to turn a relationship around from dysfunctional to a version 2.0 loving, connected, and deeply intimate relationship. But here's the funny part. It doesn't take that long to figure out where this is going. Literally, you will see changes within weeks or months, but she's not gonna trust the changes she sees in you because it happened too quick and the feminine with more diffuse awareness does not typically grow and evolve like that. So what is your most important task? Keep showing up for yourself, keep being consistent. Because after you've been like this for three, four, six months, she is going to realize that you're not being reactive anymore, that you're actually consistent and you're doing things for yourself. And that's going to be attractive. And it's going to become trustworthy. And then suddenly you might find when you're doing something with the kids or you have plans, and when she asks what you're doing and you say something and she goes, that sounds like fun, which is her bid for connection, and your opportunity to invite her to join the adventure. Don't assign meaning to it, just do it. Okay? So, men, you get the honor of going first. You can take a dysfunctional relationship, you and you alone, and can lead it to a loving, connected version 2.0, deeply intimate, wonderful relationship. Somebody has to go first and you get that honor. And do not underestimate how powerful that is, okay? All right, brother, if you're interested, go ahead uh, and shoot me a note if you wanna talk. In Mentoring Men, we have a wonderful community. We saw a man who looks like he's turning it around to a version 2.0 relationship, three years sexless, told his wife he wanted a divorce and after her initial shock and of course trying to explain why he shouldn't want to do that, she trusted him to have an open and honest conversation because of the way he's been showing up and now it appears they may get to a version 2.0 loving, connected and deeply intimate relationship because he went first, because he was consistent, because he was honest with himself and honest with her. And he was safe for her to open up to. So if you haven't already done so, please do me a favor and hit the subscribe button. And we'll see you next time, brothers. Have a great week.